Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mike Tech back again, and today we are going to be doing a video about UCCNC and how to have multiple profiles inside this software. First thing you want to do is go ahead and click on it, wait for it to load up. After it's done loading, click the reset. Uh, you want to go to where it says uh, the, no, configurations. Um, after you get to configurations, you want to go to where it says profile. You will see two profiles in this box here. You will see default and plasma. Those are the two profiles that already come with it. So if you want to add a new profile to this list of profiles that are already here, you want to go ahead and actually minimize it. Go to where it says uh, your file explorer. And then I already have my profile is inside of a flash drive. So I'm going to navigate over to that flash drive. And click on it and my this this is a new um, profile here from the old machine it's called uh, my default number one and the file type is QT project file so that's the file type right there so you going to go ahead and right click on that and um, copy it navigate over to this computer C drive and then you want to go ahead and click on where it says UC CNC there you want to go to um, profile and then you will see the two profiles that I showed you before you will see the default and you will see the plasma so you want to go ahead and um, paste your old profile from your other machine in that list right there now how you paste it in here it, that's how it's going to show up in the list so if you want it to be at the top you move it to the top if you want it to be in the middle it's going to show up in the middle for me I really don't care so I'm just going to leave it there um, exit out go back to the software now we're back and you can see that it didn't show up yet well the reason why you have to go down here to the bottom where it says list profiles and now you can see that it's visible so in order to use it you need to go to where it says load profiles press that it's going to say profile and it's going to say the name my default one was loaded press ok and now you can go back and now you can see that the DRO the DRO has changed to the numbers that were there when, when I uh, used the machine before and you can see all your offsets are now visible your current offsets machine uh, code all that stuff uh, if you had tools all your tools will be visible and if you go to access settings you can see that all the, the pinouts for it is all there the velocity the acceleration is all there all that stuff is there so that's how to load an old um, profile from an old machine into a new machine. So now let's say you don't want to do that. Let's say you want to have a, um, let's say you want to make a new profile from scratch. Well, that's easy to do uh, too. So it's very simple. You just go and where it says new profile name, you type in uh, a profile name. So let's just say I want to be 41. Uh, C and C press enter and then you want to go ahead and press uh, create new profile right here press that is gonna say profile 41 CNC was created press ok and now if you want to load that profile and start using it and start changing settings you can do that just click on uh, 41 CNC press load it's gonna say profile 41 CNC was loaded press ok and then go back and you can see that the DRO hasn't changed and none of the settings, none of your stuff has changed. The reason why is because when you created this new profile, it pretty much created it on top of the profile that was there before, if, if that makes any sense. So if you want to go ahead and change settings, if you created a new profile, you basically have to go in there and just change all the settings because it's going to have all the settings as the last profile so it will be a new profile but it will still have all the settings as the last profile so you would definitely have to go in there and start changing all of the settings if this is a brand new machine with different configurations and stuff like that so that's basically how to create a new profile and the stuff that you have to do in order to get that new profile up and running so that's gonna be it for this video and um, if you like this video please like uh, please leave a comment with any questions down below. 
uh, subscribe to see more videos just like this one and if you want to support me go over to my website the link will be down at the bottom you can also follow me on Facebook and you should also, you can also follow me on Instagram as well but go over to my website and uh, you can pretty much buy stuff there or you can watch the same videos that I post on YouTube on that site as well and I also have more uh, stuff that more um, stuff on there that you can check out so yeah that's it Peace out.